Hey everybody, this is Joe Whiting with the first of the Tower Light 60 Second Movie Reviews. Uh, this week I screened Nine, the new computer animated movie by director Shane Acker. It's based on his 2005 short film, which was actually nominated for an Academy Award. Uh, the great thing about this movie is that it's visually arresting. It's, it's, uh, it's got a world all on its own and it's miles ahead of anything else any computer animated movie is trying to do right now. It's got its own political philosophy, it's got its own message, uh, something that speaks to both younger kids and something that adults can take away from it too. Despite everything that's good about the movie from a visual standpoint, it's lacking on plot, it's lacking on character, it's lacking on story, it's really lacking everything that pulls a good movie together narratively. Uh, it really feels like that everything besides the visuals were just an afterthought uh, to the finished product uh, with the story and characters and plot used to fill in the cracks that were left by uh, the visual presentation. And the visuals of the movie, why couldn't they have done that same amount of work and channeled it into the story and plot and characters? Uh, you really leave the movie feeling that there's much to be desired. Um, one recipe maybe for fixing this is each of the characters in the movies is labeled by a number and uh, the main character is nine and uh, consequently this movie comes out on 9909. If they had maybe inserted some plot twist where they killed off nine and made the main character 10 and released the movie on October 10, 2010, that would have given plenty of time to do visuals, plenty of time to do characters, and plenty of time to have much more of a cohesive movie, maybe with a runtime of 90 minutes rather than uh, flimsy 79 minutes. Thanks for checking out the first of the series of 60 Second Reviews. Uh, we'll be back next week with a review of Love Happens, starring Jennifer Aniston.